Hey everybody, welcome to Crafty Ames Workshop. My name is Amy and today I'm going to be talking about my composition notebook, blue book, art mixed media junk journal. I know, that's a lot to take in. But what it is, is just a composition notebook. You can get the lined paper kind or you can get the graph paper. Either one will work. All you're needing is a composition notebook because what's going to happen is you're going to cover each page anyway so it doesn't matter if it's lined or graph. It's up to you. Um, and so what, how this came to be. I saw a video from Liz Drake, also known as Sugar, who was doing, she does all kinds of junk journals and several other things. And one of the journals she was doing was the composition notebook journal, or glue book, or whatever you want to call it. Well, she found out about it through Tangie Baxter, which I will link uh, some uh, information for both of them down in the description below if you want to take a look at those videos. But what it is, it is a book to put your junk in pretty much. Nothing special, maybe to practice your art um, or just glue stuff down. So it's really just like a practice book. Or maybe you want to make it into something beautiful. Some of my pages probably are nice but I would say the majority of this in here is probably not so nice but it's therapy for me pretty much it's, it's just something that I can do mindlessly and still have fun and enjoy myself and not worry about whatever's going on in my life at that time it's just fun to stick stuff down so what I've done is so what you do is you take your pages you can either uh, just do one page or some people will glue two pages together so that they can paint on it or whatever so you can glue your pages together two at a time three at a time whatever um, I think Tangie she first what she does first is she puts in some like decorative paper um, on some of the pages so she'll just flip through and she'll pick a page here and there and put in just tape down or glue down some decorative paper. After that, um, you can take a marker or some um, some of these ink pads and just rub the ink pad over the page. Um, another thing she does is she'll crinkle up the pages so that immediately your book it gets thick. It gets real chunky. So crumble crinkle up your pages get them real good and and chunky and actually let me see I might have some pages in here where I've done that well I'll show you as we go go along but um, after you crinkle them up and put the ink on top if you would like or even crayon you can use crayon to do that with then you can go and you'll want to enforce it so like you'll need to put about five or six strings on each and uh, probably in little sections of the book so that nothing will fall out. Um, some people don't even do this step. Um, you may not need to because these things are pretty durable. I've had this for what is it a year and a half now almost a year and a half and it's not gone it's not falling apart or anything and look how thick it is. It's just humongous. Um, um, and then the fun part begins after you do that part and you just start decorating it and putting junk in it. Um, I put trash in it. My family gets, <laughs> they, they think I'm crazy sometimes, but I'll find something that I find really cool, an art, a graphic from a piece of trash, really like this. I'm going to post, put this in one, on one of my pages. The Wendy's logo girl. I think it's a really cool graphic and I'm just going to put it in there for fun. No biggie. Um, so what I'm going to do, you can put, oh, you can also put, like I've got these little, I don't know what you call them, little uh, ribbon with balls on them. Uh, but you can put ribbon in there. 
um, lots of washi tape I've got down here. On my cover, what I used was one of those coloring pages, but it's the reverse. So instead of you just having the black lines as your picture and then you color it in, it's the reverse way. The white lines are the picture, and I just really like that. So I started coloring it with um, gel pens and didn't get very far, but I hope to finish that. And then I also used put some little glue dots on some of it so you can you have a texture on there and then I put glitter on it so you can feel it and it kind of glitters a little bit too I don't know if you can see that um, what else I did on the cover was put some little um, I think you can get these at Dollar General I think maybe is where I got this or maybe it was Dollar Tree but this is just a ribbon of bling you might call it I cut it in half. It was like a big piece of, of ribbon about that big, that thick. I cut it in half and then I glued it on each side or on each top and bottom. So eventually I'm going to go back and finish coloring this in. Um, the back, I had another picture that I loved and I, I think I did finish that one. That one is the snake. Um, I got this coloring book Oh, I don't even know where I got it. But I got it like really cheap. It was on clearance. So I thought, oh, that would be awesome to put on my book. So I went ahead and put a bling on the eyes, bling all around, and colored in. I don't know if you can see. Used gel pens to color it. So that's just my cover. Okay. So, let me do a quick flip through of what I did on the inside. So the first page, I just glued down some cardstock and some just some decorative paper. And I wrote down the date that I started this book. So, um, that was March 2017. So pretty well. I guess it was just a, just a year ago. Um, and then I received this page from a grab bag from Liz Drake. She, um, in fact, I just bought a grab bag from her recently. So hopefully I'll get that soon. But she had this picture in there, and I just really liked it. So that's on my first page. Um, I just put some washi tape on the top. And some of, most of these pages are not done. I will go back sometime when I feel like it and I will might fill it in with some words or sayings or scripture or whatever I'm in the mood to put down on it. Um, this is trash right here. This is a good example of me using my trash up. This is Reese's, pieces, Reese's Buttercups. Um, the foil that was around them and then the the uh, the little papers that are around the candy itself and I just decorated those with um, gel pens cut them out into little flower shapes and did some washi tape around that um, so I'm just gonna flip through this real quick some of these images I found on Pinterest and I love some of the artwork that I see on Pinterest so I might clip some of those out and throw them in there. This was a page where I was just trying to get paint off my brush and so I scribbled it on there and then I pasted it down on, on this page. Um, this is another example of my trash. <laughs> um, I got a kavu bag. I think that's how you say it. And this is just the tags from the Kavu bag, and I made them into pockets, and that is the the tag from the bag. I know, crazy. I knew. And that was one of the stickers that came with it. This is the envelope that Liz gave me from her grab bag, and I wanted to put that in there. I thought it was very sweet. And then here's another example of making my trash into art. And this is all Tootsie Rolls, Tootsie Roll wrappers. Um, this is trash, just some stuff that I had been working on. And this was the after effect of 
the papers I had underneath it after I sprayed whatever it was I was spraying. This is what was left over. So here's some more trash that I made into treasure. I bit of honey, my favorite, one of my favorite candies. Um, this is a rose that I made. Um, and I'll probably put some more stuff down on that. Nothing on that one really. So I got a lot to fill in for sure. And here's another place where I just put them all together. I found this in a magazine and thought it was cool to go with breakthrough light bulb moment. And there's another page. I found that image on Pinterest. Here's some jokes that I found in a book. Uh, my daughter, both my daughters graduated, one from high school, one from college, the same year. And so that's what some of the, uh, the stickers that I had from that. This is yarn, uh, you know, the little wrappers around the yarn. I love the glittery effect that is on the I love this yarn pieces, and I thought I had to keep that. Eventually, I'm probably going to go back and doodle around it and make it cool. This is a beautiful island that maybe someday I'll get to. This is some artwork I did. I didn't want to throw it away, so I went ahead and just pasted it in here to keep it. Map of the U.S. Some more trash, and I painted this. And then I put sprayed some uh, mist. Let's see. Sprayed some of this glimmer mist on there. I have different colors for that. And then some of the uh, scripture art that you can uh, color that I found on Pinterest and Google. Um, this was uh, this is from the video where I made the Thanksgiving napkin rings. And I didn't want to get rid of that either, so I kept it and put it in my book. This Girl Scout cookie box pieces. This is a page all green, so I'm just putting all green in it. IHOP. I love to eat at IHOP. This is a page I was collecting eyeballs and anything having to do with makeup, having to do with the eye. I just thought that was fun. And then I did a uh, basket weave with the paper. And I was going to start a page on lips. And this Katy Perry. I think she's beautiful. She's got some beautiful eyes. Um, pizza and salad. Things I love. Eventually I'll put some outfits in here that I like. Here's some... Um, more artwork I did trying to outline a page, some pages that I did for somebody, and I didn't want to get rid of those, so I saved them. Um, here's a bag that I can put something in. Get out there, it is. so I could put hide something in the pocket there. Here's another one of those uh, reverse coloring pages. This one's got googly eyes on it. I used um, book, book, uh, just, I think this is, I mean, oh, that feels like magazine. Anyway, so I just ripped up a bunch of pages with words on it and then I drew on smiley faces and put googly eyes on it. And then the elephants. I love elephants. This is a blue page, blue and white. Butterflies. This one I was playing around with. Um, I think these are some kind of cookies or something. And I cut them out and put them on top of her face. I thought it was kind of funny. Um, McDonald's. Um, flowers. I can't get enough of flowers. I love drawing flowers, painting flowers, anything having to do with flowers. I love it. And then coffee. That's another 
making Dunkin' Donuts. My favorite donut place is Dunkin' Donuts. This is something that I had done a long time ago, trying to figure out what I wanted to do, a title for my business, and um, I didn't want to throw that away either, so I just kept it. This was another photo from Google or Pinterest, I think it's Pinterest that I found it on. I put it in there with some paint around it. So, I mean, you can put whatever you want in here. Make it your own. Use magazines. Get your images from um, magazines or Pinterest or Google. Here's a bunch of tea. Got little notes inside my tea bags. And so nothing, it's just something fun to do. You don't have to worry about other people seeing it. It's just fun. It's just to get your mind to focus on something else. Sometimes life is hard and you just need something else to focus on. And I have to say, this really will do it. So, I really enjoy doing it. You can put little pockets in here with envelopes. Here's my cat page. And my little fairy page, whatever you want to call it. I just love fairy doors and little mini fairy stuff. Love it. Here's my banana page with the banana, banana tape that's wrapped around the bananas. There you go. Make it into some kind of art. I got stickers, banana stickers. This is a bread, by the way, if you guys haven't tried this bread, it's a raisin cinnamon bread. This is my favorite cinnamon raisin bread. It is so good. I think I get it at Costco. Find it, look for it, you won't regret it. This is a napkin that I just glued down on this page. That's kind of neat. I'm going to fill that in with something. Cinnabon, my favorite, favorite cinnamon roll. Of course, cookies. You can't go wrong with that. Asparagus beans. I just love the green in that. I thought that was a really good, good color coordination right there. And this was just an in a uh, piece of junk mail that I made into a tip-in. I think that's what you call it. I painted everything black and eventually I'll fill that in. Here's some more images that I found and loved. Eventually I'm going to do something wonderful with each page and eventually it will all be finished. Oh, I like this because it made me think of a river. And so I was thinking about doing little houses or something like that in there. And this is a potato sack. Can you really make art with potato sack? Maybe. Cheese. I love cheese. So this is a lot of things that I just love. Images I love and things that I love. Oh, and this picture. The reason I put this in here is because I thought it was funny. I'm going to take her face out and put my face in. <laughs> I just love the gold the gold to it. And she is a lovely woman, but I just thought it would be funny to put my face in there. Alright. And then there's the end. <laughs> oh, the end. And that's it. So... So that is my composition notebook glue book art mixed media junk journal. And so I think our next thing, I'm going to go ahead and do a page with you and then I'd love to hear from you guys and see if you've done one of these pages before or done one of these books before. So what I'm going to do...
I'm going to use this page. I'm just going to rip this out. Measure it out. Don't even need scissors, just rip it out. Get it the right side. And I think I might go like that. Okay, get your glue stick or your Mod Podge or your Elmer's glue, whatever you got, and just glue it down. This is something you can do in front of your TV while you're watching TV. You don't have to think about it, just glue it. Put it on there, decorate it up. why I like that. I just like it. I think I like the contrast. The red and the white. It's just simple. Just make sure it's glued down real good. glue down. Let's see. I'm going to stamp some of, with my new stamp. I got a new stamp the other day. Try this out. See what it looks like. see that one. Make this journal your own, guys. And don't worry about what you think other people might think. This is your journal. This is your journal to have fun with and not worry. And just practice and just make it fun. Okay, so there's that. I think I'm going to use... I'm going to make her eyes green. Gonna give her some. Let's see. We'll do some pink highlights in her hair. 
I can get it to work. I can't see it. Let me get something else. Let's do purple highlights. Give her some black eyeliner. Let's do gray on the teeth. Looks like she's got braces. Let's do that. Let's give her braces. Wendy, you're going to look good when I'm done. like her little beanie. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller up here. Okay, glue. I need glue. camera went out but all I did was put the little brim on the hat. Now I'm going to color her shirt. I'm using gelatos. You can use gelatos like watercolor or like crayons or however or like a Oh, oil pastels. They're similar to that. I think. I used them. I haven't used them a lot, but I have used a little bit. Um, just find an image on anything, you guys, and go with it. See if you can make something we, you know, pretty cool with it. Um, let's see. I'm going to do blue. With this, you just have, you can rub it and be done with it, or you can get a, a water a water brush and just kind of move it around, just like watercolors. 
Um, I'm just going to do it like this because I didn't get my water out. So, just for the purposes of this filming, I'm just going to do it real quick. cheeks pink. <laughs> These are the iridescent, I think. Are they metallics? Metallic gelatos by Faber Castell. Love them. I have all of them now because I fell in love with them. They're so fun to use, so easy, and you can use them in different ways. I just love it. Obviously, this is not the greatest artwork piece ever, but you know what? I'm having fun, and that's what matters. You want to have fun when you're doing your art. And by doing this sort of thing, that gets, gets you your mind moving for other projects that you might have or that you might want to start doing. Okay, and then if I had time, I'd go ahead and maybe put some quotes from Wendy's or whatever, but I can't think of anything at this moment. Um, but So that's just like one page, and I can add to it or just leave it like this if I wanted. I might add to it later, but you guys get the drift. You're just, just having fun, just being creative, finding things. If you're not an artist at all, gluing stuff down is fun and just do it. You don't have to be an artist to do anything, to do this. This is just, like I said, it's a therapeutic thing. Find you some good, good looking clean trash or junk mail. I always find things in junk mail that I want to put down. Um, and just have fun with it. Turn it into something creative like this one. She already had a beautiful face on her, but I went ahead and added some bling to her lips and some to her eyes. And I just um, altered her a little bit and it just made it look artistic. I like it. But that's, you know, it's mine and I can like it or I can dislike it. You don't have to show this book to anybody, or you, you can if you want to, but just have fun with it. Um, but check out Tangie's website. I'll post it down below. And also Liz, uh, Liz Drake. And uh, I'll try to remember what her new YouTube channel is. And check them out. And get your book as chunky as you possibly can. That's so fun. And I love that these little balls on the end here, it gives it texture. And this putting glue dots down gives it texture. I just love it. I just love it. I don't know what more to say about it. Just get creative. All right, you guys have a great day. This is my video for today. I hope to have better videos in the future and um, just get your creativity flowing and this is one way you can do that just start something don't worry about if you can draw or you can't draw don't worry about if you can paint or you can't paint or clay if you can't clay. just start that's the only way you're gonna get good at it is to start somewhere start with something that you think you might like and go with it alright that's it for me 
please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell, and you will get notified when I put new videos out, and you guys have a great day. Bye!